Welcome back to Mad Cardigan. With this playthrough of Georgia Pumpkin and Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, where are we left off? We're going to take a look at uh, Percival Rackham's memory. So let's give it a look. Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The drought was years ago. But the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morganach, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Mm. Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Okay, oh, impromptu dinner party. Now to find a way out of here. All right, let's get out of here. Thankfully, we have More a lovely little waypoint there. That must be the way back to the map chamber. And it's labeled as such. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir, and this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? 
The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter, of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood... Do you think... That there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest. I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. All right, the seasons change, I guess. End of the quarter of the semester. All right, let's let everything catch up. Do I have any mail? Can, uh, take some of this kid's candy while I'm at it. Oh, shouldn't have done that. I should ask Serona the three. Loading skittles about a pressing and highly confidential matter at your earliest convenience. I believe that we may be able to help each other. The old uh, groundskeeper or handyman or whatever that guy is seems much less sinister than the one in the movies. Okay, I guess that's all the mail. All the news that's fit to print. Let's see what else is going on here. Can't do that one yet. Okay. Lohmora and Beast Class. Let's check that out. Get these main quests going. Okay. Mm, looks like that's probably the closest one. Okay. Professor Fig said, don't slack on your classes, so we're not going to. Plus, they're part of the main storyline figures. You have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you Descendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. Should be Hogwarts homework simulator. I'm just one little girl. Do all the homework and save the world at the same time. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. 
Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Mm. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Gotcha. Here, you can practice on Gerald. No, Just thank you. For his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Little guy. Just be gentle. Fresh. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Okay. Alrighty, a nice brush. Oh, let's see. What are we looking at? Okay. Let's give it its own slot there. That's, That's lovely. Nifty. I'm sure he feels much better. Yep, he seems I think like he it. Might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? A zookeeper now as well. Right. Magic food. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, Chicken I notes. like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Show me to the measles. The cats. Oh, a couple of measles whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> Thanks, Slytherin. Stupid thing. Oh. Ugh, tuss tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> you obviously don't know the Let's dueling go. champion. Yep, slither off. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Brush one and feed another. <laughs> gotcha. The measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. I'm a it girl. appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. 
They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps. Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. I need to talk Got to it. you. Come here. Oh, where are you? Okay. Did you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's mm -hmm. a good thing. Whatever that it's means. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Mm, that sounds You've ominous. You've intrigued me. Very well, lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take right, just so anyone. Poppy's there. trustworthy. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just <laughs> show you. Good job, Poppy. A little haircut. Don't worry, we're nearly there. Lovely it's outside just view of the castle. Stand back. Magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. This little girl must be related to Hagrid. She knows all the animals. Bet I'll bow and get pecked to death. Bow lower, Duke. -duke. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Yeah, she looks that Little chicken nuggets for a bird. It's weird. Full energy now. The poop on the bridge. So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And I might not be there next time. Professor Howard mentioned the poachers as well. 
She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. Probably lingering. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. All right, knocking out these classes one at a time. Okay. What's next? Now uh, what? Now uh, what? Mr. Moon. Oh, that'll allow more. That's the lock picking spell. That might be quite useful. I've seen a bunch of locks that I wasn't able to get into. So let's go. Have a word. It's right outside my common room. At least I think so. Hopefully I haven't made this trip longer than it needs to be. We shall see. Open up. Cannot win, but don't be shy. For I can't wait to watch try. No oh, peeves. Nut. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased being sure. Yep. Going the right way. Race course. Man. Oh, here we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Here he is. Shouldn't you be handymanning or caretaking? Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. So what, we just stand here for hours? Maybe you have magic. Make time go by faster. Ooh. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Okay. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face that Dumbledore? with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, <laughs> uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demigod. Pardon me, Mr. Gladwell. Demigods. <gasps> yes, terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigodesses. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. 
Some jackanapes use the boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Uh, yeah, I'd be glad help to out. help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Another juvenile delinquent spell. Got it. Okay, so we want to. Let's see. We want to. There we go. Hello, Amora. Well, for this, we are actually going to turn the difficulty down because trying to pick some of these locks will take forever, especially with my lack of skill in it. So, uh, let's see, music, there we go, down the story. I'll turn it back up whenever we get to the... Uh, Fighting parts and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Auto solve is quite nifty. Save you a lot of time when you have a You're lot in. of locks to pick. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps yeah, eyes. See, there's locks everywhere. This is a... Hello, Amora. Going a bit beyond the scope of what he wanted, but. Rona, okay. Revelio. Stealing all the professor's stuff. It's not very nice. Just looking around. They don't need it. Just keep telling yourself that. And eh, I'm much in there. Okay, focus. Stay on track. Yep, yeah, upstairs. Nobody noticed that. Uh, okay, we'll stay hidden. Nobody. Getting that sprint while uh, ooh, poorly, I'd say. sprint while sneaking spell or uh, upgrade is pretty handy, especially if you like doing a. Uh, a lot of stealth gameplay and, and um, combat and stuff, you know. Bathroom. Oh, 
Fox Lloyd preparing for a rebellion. Bruce, always mucking about, stirring up If the ministry would allow one to wand, one of those goblins comes near me, I'll hand him the hat. Don't want to alert that one guy right there, so I'll leave that thing alone. Oh my goodness, there's people everywhere. Let's try to distract him. Hey, look over there. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Students in the hospital wing on account oh. of my venomous tentacular. Not at the moment, no. Right past him. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls. I guess when they're talking to each other, they're less observant. Helps me out a lot. My rounds now. Yeah, I want to grab I that page, but I don't want to do anything best, to alert them. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. Whoa! Wow. Well, I guess on this difficulty setting also, it, uh, it's very forgiving in the sneaky department, so. Not complaining. Just trying to have a fun walk through anyway. Not trying to torture myself or the viewers. I've been doing the same things over and over and over again. Oh, Lord. You guys annoying that you're all going the same way I'm going. Okay, I've had it. Maybe I can run right past you. Oh yeah, I can. Just God. pain in the rear. All right. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Okay, oh, there are a the bunch of these uh, keep at um, it so we can solve this mystery. demiguises is around Hogwarts and everywhere else. They're out throughout the whole world. And the more you get, he'll teach you different levels of the uh, Aloha Morris spell. So, because you'll see level 2 locks, level 3 locks. And if you find all of the, or most of the demigod statues, then he will allow you to unlock higher and higher level spells. So, but that is quite time consuming okay let's see how we're doing in the quest oh we've reached a lock okay we have to have depulso sharps assignments focus maximus eridus and use them simultaneously okay You have any of those yet? Uh, we got an Eridus. That's it. We got an Eridus. Okay. So we need a couple of potions. Let's go see the potion man. And Hogsmeade. I don't remember his name. It's up here. Oh, and he also wanted to talk to us. Pippin, Mr. Pippins, okay. Now you can work through crafting these things, finding the ingredients and all that kind of stuff, but you can also just buy the potions. 
Which one did I have again? I have the Eridus. Okay, and I need... We might as well get the quest up. These are sharp. So focus and maxima. I need those as well. No problem. Well, do let me know Anybody? if I can be of any assistance at all. Need a couple of potions. What can I do for you today? Hmm. Okay. Yep, five hundred. Oh, that's a good decision. Thank you. Focus and a maxima. Good old Nissan Maxima. Oh, I need to upgrade. Put on some stuff here. Anything down? Okay, yeah, I'll sell that. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Thirty-two, thirty-two, twenty-five. I think I like that one better. Let me get rid of that one. How the glasses look? Got a twenty-two, a thirty-one, a twenty-two. Really have a particular choice in the glasses, so not a big. I hope to see you okay. again. Farewell for now. Well, thank you very much for the potions. Giving you all my money. Okay, let's use a focus potion. Is that focus? Yep, that's focus. Bloop! I'm focused. Look how focused I am. Okay. Then use a maxima and an eridus. Simultaneously, okay. What is this? What do they do? Fences. Spell damage. Oh, those are would be useful, especially in higher difficulties. Okay. Ooh, red. Want to use them? Excellent. Ooh, there we go. Easy enough. I'm so stoned. <laughs> no, you're not Georgia. Oh, my goodness. Got a class like that. Well, you look freaky like that. Uh, it was a potions classroom. That's it. Let's go see old Professor Sharp. Teach us another spell. But I don't write down. Oh, no house elf. Hey, buddy. Attention. Okay, so we're going to have to go to the map and wait till daytime. Alrighty. I'm ready to attend the potions class. Where is the marker? There we go. Careful of meat. Watch that Weasley kid. Oh, Natty. Guess that's supposed to happen. Nice jacket. I like his coat. This is a purple potion. All right, everybody out. Got to talk to Professor Sharp. Teach me something you kids don't know. Okay. Hey, Prof. How are your assignments coming along? I completed All your, your stuff. assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the hall. Nope, don't want to do any flinging. Okay, so we have a new purple spell, which is the Pulso. 
let's start assigning these to the second. What do I have in that one? Okay, I have uh, and that one will also put that spelly armus there. Nope, no, nope, it's probably almost plus one. On that, one. that one, there we go. Don't have another yellow spell yet. Get to that later. I okay. suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Pulso. Well done. Pulso. I'm glad to see that, that you seem staunchly book. determined to master your spell casting. I am staunchly. All right. Another spell under our belt. You can make your potions here, or you can put them in your room. Do them there as well. Okay, so where were we? Oh, oh nice. She wants us to get trolls. Okay, she's a little more mandrake and okay, the plant stuff. Okay, the balloons. All right. Oh, back to hogs me. I was just there. No problem. Oh, need to put on our new stuff too, real quick, before we start that quest. So you keep your gear up. What I have glasses. Oh, and a mask. That's right. We need to keep those. Whoa, that's ominous. No, we're not going to cover up George's pretty face. We'll try on this other scarf, though. Might look better. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. I think we can keep that for a bit. Anything else? I think there was, there was a hat. That's what it was. Upgraded hat. There we go. <laughs> okay, yeah, nice hat. No, no, no. There we go. Maybe next episode we'll change clothes again. Change up her look. I'll have to ask her in person if she wants me to change them again. Hello there. Nice to see you. All right. Hello, Miss Ryan. Serona. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lord God. <sighs> He's a friend. It seemed as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now? We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards, even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lodgok, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. You bet I will. Check this out. Watch my back. Whack! Sorry. Watch my own back. Okay, so we need to go see 
little Mr. Goblet Log Gok. These names are awesome. Come here. Grab that free experience. Hello. Good to see you outside the castle. Hey, you meet. meet. How you doing, buddy? Hanging out. Let me go into some shady places. I tell you what. Okay, before we take on this and start talking to the goblins and stuff, I think we're going to call it a part there. So thank you for joining me on Mad Cardigan, and we will see you in the next one.